All right, so here's part two on my guide on how to make a character. So the last time we had pretty much made the basics like setting up the AI and um, setting the race, the stats, and the spells, and the relationship. So now what we're going to do is we're going to create a texture set for the character. So um, we could direct their texture paths to their body. And uh, you don't need to do this if you want your character to use the same body as every other NPC in the game. But this is for people who want their NPC to have their own exclusive body. So what we're going to do is we're going to look for the tab called Miscellaneous right here. And then we're going to scroll down till we see Texture Set. Now, when you're using the standalone starter uh, package thing, it's really good because they have the textures right here labeled under the triple A's and these will pretty much kind of guide you to which texture sets that you're you're going to need for your character so um, we'll just use this and we could change the ID later if we want to so for now we're going to just open this and then right here we're going to hit edit and then it's gonna kind of show us right here what we're looking for so female underscore hands what we're going to do is we're going to scroll to our characters folder, which was in actors, character, and then it was bimbo something. Okay, excuse me. There was a loud noise by me. I didn't want you guys to pick that up. So, yeah, Steam Maps, you know, wherever you put it, then there's our folder right here. And then what we want to do is replace those female hands underscore one with the female underscore one hands that we have in our characters folder. So we're going to do that. And you'll know you did it correctly once you see the textures pop up here. So we're just pretty much going to do this again. And we're going to find our character. Um, my goodness, everything. There we go. Everything seems so small to me. Actually, once you get into the folder, you could just hit open and it will find it automatically. I actually forgot about that. So yeah, just go here, find your follower folder. Boom, open, open. And then the last one right here. All right, and that's done. And that's the girl's hand. Uh, texture and like I said you could change the ID if you want and then if it says create a new form and you hit yes it will make a duplicate and you'll still keep your AA girls hand texture if you pick no then it will just override it so I'm just gonna override it and then we're pretty much just gonna do the same thing for this girls uh, torso texture. So we're just gonna go here, go into our folder, find it, hit open, and there you go. And then we're just pretty much going to keep doing this. All right. So I'm gonna do this for everything right here, and I'm gonna jump ahead. All right. So now that we got our torso set up, I'm going to just change this again. All right, now, what you can do is you can quickly just go to all and then type in AAA. And then what you're going to see is this right here, girl body. Okay, so once you see this AA girl body, we're going to click on this. Then we're going to come over here to this tab right here where it says models. We're going to right click on here. We're going to hit new. And then we're going to select the the feet and do it again new and we're going to select the hands and then we're just going to hit OK. All right. And then save it because, you know, Creation Kit likes to crash a lot. So after that, what we're going to do is we're going to go to. AA girl torso. And then we're going to go to bite model select. And then I'm probably going to have to cut this off because it's going to probably show a nude body. Oh, it doesn't show anything. 
Okay. Now, what we have to do. All right. Before I was rudely interrupted, we have to click on model file, and then did. And from here, we have to search for our girl's body. So, click on this edit, and then search for your your folder. Ours was in meshes, and then it was right here. Select this, and then select the body one. And as you can see, oh, our character looking kind of thick, but she never knew. And yeah, there you go. So that's the body. And then you want to hit OK, or you can change the ID, which I'm going to do. Hit no, hit yes. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go to the feet. And then we're going to go to white model. Now select it on the female. We don't select it on the male because it doesn't matter. All right. So we're going to go to edit again. And then we're going to search for our characters folder again. Right here, there's the feet. There they go. And we're just going to hit OK. And then on the hands, do the same thing again. Wipe model for female, edit, go to your characters folder, hit open. There we go. And you know, just give it a unique ID if you want. The reason why I like to do that is in case you like to reuse this standalone follower pack over and over, you don't have to worry about NPCs having the same ID for things. Okay, so that's our hands and our feet and body. So now what we're going to have to do is, okay, yeah. Let's go to our feet. Let's go back to our feet. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go down here to skin texture. And we're going to look for a uh, bimbo girl torso texture. All right. Um, the reason why we're putting the torso texture on the feet is because the feet and the body share the same texture. All right. And the hands. The hands have their own separate texture. So what we're going to do on the hands is we're going to look for our hand texture. All right. And then we're going to hit OK. Hit save. And let me go ahead and check the torso again. That just keeps calling me out. All right. So on the, on the skin texture on the torso, we're going to scroll down and find your torso texture. There you go. Hit OK. Save. And then now that should be it for the body. Now what we're going to do is we're going to move on to the hair because we need to add some custom hair to our NPC. All right. So come back down to the old tab right here. And then we're just going to type in hair and it should pop up. Now, the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to take this hairline and we're just going to duplicate it because our hair has two hairlines. Remember, it was the, I think it was the Peggy, the Peggy hairline, and then we had the female human straight hairline. So we need two of these. All right, so we're going to go to the first one. We're going to go to model, edit, and then we're going to search for our character. And then what we're going to do is we're going to select that hairline. All right, that's OK. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go to our hairline duplicate. And I actually should have put. Uh, should have put my unique ID on the first hairline, but we'll just do that for now. Models. And then for your second hairline, 
we want to search for that female human straight or female uh hairline straight scalp human excuse me or if you're using a curly hairline it might be curly all right so i'm just gonna hit okay and then i am going to change this i want to change this really quickly All right, and then now for our actual hair, we're gonna do the same thing here, model, find our character, and it is the Peggy 66. There we go. Give it a unique ID if you want. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna go right here into this tab where it says extra parts. We're gonna right click in here, we're gonna select new, and then we're going to select our our hairline and right click do new again and we're going to select our second hairline all right and then we're going to hit okay and then save it and then that should be it for the hair and the body all right that's it everything's done so now we need to apply this to our npc so what we're going to do is we're going to go back to our actors and we're going to go back to our NPC. And we're going to open them up. So we're going to come back over here to this traits tab. And what we're going to do is where it says skin right here, we're going to click this down and we're going to select um, our unique ID. I actually need to change that. Give me a second while I change it. All right, so once you put your body, you're going to come over here to, I believe it's character gen parts. Yes, right here. In character gen parts, you're going to scroll down until you see this tab right here where it says hair. And then we're going to click on this. And then we're, just, we're going to scroll down until we see our hair ID that we created right there. Boom, there you go. So uh, there's our character. You could kind of look at them in full. However, the face that shows in here is not going to be the same face that shows in the game. So right there, as you can see, it's just like some wrong skin default face. All right. But don't let that discourage you. That's just how it is in a creation kit. So we're just going to hit save. And I want to say that that is it. I almost forgot. We need to set the characters skin color so we're going to come back over to <clears throat> character gen parts and remember when i told you to write down those numbers or to take a screenshot like i did right here so you could remember what they was so wow these are all the same number for some reason it's already set up for me that's probably like some default nord skin basic overly used skin tone all right but make sure that you put your numbers all right, for your character, your R, G, and your B. Because if you don't do this, they won't have the right uh, skin color. So, what we're going to do is we're going to drag our NPC into the world. Um, I'm going to place them at... We'll see if we could do a night gate in. Oh man, if I could find this place. All right, there it is. Night gate. Night gate in. All right, so we're just gonna double click on this cell in the cell view window. Just double click on any cell that you wanna find. Make sure it's a decent one. Like don't don't place the freaking follower in Sovereign Guard or something, you know? <laughs> Make it somewhere realistic. So when you're in here, wow, look at the frame rate. It's so smooth in here. I'm not used to that. All right. So when you're in here, you click in the mouse wheel. You hold it down. And then you could like move up and down and left and right. If you hold shift and then just move your mouse, you can rotate to camera and look around. All right. That's some of the things. We'll get into more of how to use this later once we start doing more with the world space. And you scroll your mouse up and down to zoom in and out. 
right? So what we're going to do is we're going to grab our follower and we're going to drag them into the world just like that. And once they're in here, we can click on them and move them around. Now, if you have this check, it'll move them along the grid. And so they'll move like wonky, like they'll jump ahead like that when you move them. But if you want to freely move them around, just untick that. And now you see I can freely move them around. All right. So um, while you have your character grabbed, you can move them around just by holding the click down when you click on them. You can hold Z to move them along the Z axis. And, you know, Y to move them along the Y axis. And you can hold X to move them along the X axis. All right. And if you want to just quickly drop them to the floor, you could press F like that and it will drop to the floor. So now uh, I completely forgot to give my character an outfit. So we're going to do that right now. So underneath the items tab, you will see a category called outfit. From right here, you could select this right click in here, select new. And then give your outfit a unique ID. And then in here, um, you could start grabbing the armors, I believe. So let me just go to an armor and I'll type in, uh, I really like Dwarven. <laughs> uh, and we'll go to like Dwarven, Curious, Gauntlets, and Boots. I'll drag all of these in there. And I'll drop them in there like that. And then, uh, what I'll do is I'll click on my character. I could go to edit base. And then what I'll do is I'll go back to the inventory tab. And in their inventory tab, you see right here, it says default outfit. You could click on this and then there you go. Select the ID of your outfit. And then when I do that, she should now, there you go. She's wearing the armor. All right, so hit OK. And one thing that I would do for when we get into future videos, like when we start making packages and dialogues and quests and things like that, you're probably going to want to give your character a reference. So I'm going get to get it out the way right now. What I usually like to do is put the same thing as, as the NPC's ID, but I'll just end it with ref like that in all caps. And I'll just hit OK and then save it. And then if we jumped into game right now, everything would work fine. Your character would be mostly good, except she wouldn't look the part. So right now we got to do the final touch, which is to fix her face. So we're going to, we're going to go down to select all, and we're just going to type in this. So it filters out our character. Now, right here on the NPC in your NPC, actors actor tab click on your npc and then you're going to hold control and you're going to hit f4 and then it's going to ask you export face gen data for all selected npcs and then you just hit yes wait for it to say done give it a second sometimes it takes a while all right done and then we're going to hit save and then i think i think we could close the creation kit but i'm just going to minimize it for now and then what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and we're going to open up our nif merge tool now we're going to use our nif merge tool and you can place this anywhere on your pc it doesn't matter we're going to click on it and we're going to open the executable and then right here, what we're going to need is we're going to need two things. We're going to need the face that we exported from creation kit. And then we're going to need the face that we exported from race menu. So the way I get these is we go to the overwrite folder. So I'm going to go into my overwrite folder. I'm going to go into SKSE plugins. I'm going to go to character gen. And then this is our face that we exported from race menu. And that will be the source. 
So we're going to drag that and we're going to drop it into the source. And then what we do is we back out of here. And then we want to go to meshes, actors, character, face gen data, face geom, and then your character um, from the plugin that you exported should be in here, as you can see right there. And then we're going to click on here and we're going to take that NIF and we're going to put it as the target. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to check these boxes. And then we're going to put match child nodes. And then what we're going to do is for starters, we're going to hit match by vertex because for the most part, it will set everything up for you. However, you have to go through here and make sure everything is right because I know for sure that this always gets at least one thing wrong and it's usually the hair. So as you can see, there's our eyebrows, there's our eyes, there's our mouth, along with the mouth. There's our hairline with the hairline. Here's our hairline too with the hairline too. But on our hair, they gave us another hairline one. So we're gonna click on this and we're gonna select our actual hair. So now everything is lined up, right? And we're going to pick merge to target. And if everything works right, uh, you should get this. It should just say the NIF has been merged. If you get an error, something is wrong. Make sure that you line these up right. Make sure that the same hair that you exported from your character and race menu is the same hair that you imported in the creation kit. All right. So once that is done, what we want to do is we want to go back to our overwrite folder. And then we want to go to our SKSE plugins, character gen, and we want to grab this texture right here, which is the texture that was exported with race menu. Okay. So we're going to go back to our overwrite folder again. And this time we're going to go to textures, actors, character, face gen data, face tint, and then we're going to find our plugin. And then we're going to paste this in here. And then what we're going to do is we're going to rename this copy because we're just going to take this ID and replace it with our new newly added face texture. All right. So once you do that, your follower should be done good to go. However, um, we did not set up the texture paths yet. So if you went ahead and zipped this up now, sent it to one of your friends, uh, they would have all messed up textures or no textures at all. And we'll get into that in a moment, but I just like to jump into game first to make sure that everything is working. So let's go ahead and do that really quickly. All right. So here we are at the night gate in, I see you'll see it in here. Yes. And as you can see, there's our follower that we made in the flesh. Uh, I could give her Things some like face light if I want. And very valuable to me. What kind of fool plays with fire like that? And as you can see, she got the haughty voice. And there's her name and everything is there. And now you can freely Speak go up something. to her. Speak. Talk to her. And then now you can say, follow me. Lead the way. And now she will follow you. All right. So that is how you make your freaking own custom follower. It's super freaking easy. I'm actually going to stop right here. But in the next video, what we're going to do is we're going to assign the texture paths. That way you can just zip her up and, you know, freely make her stand alone and share her with your friends and.